The VQ35DE, a 3.5 liter V6 that powered everything from the 350Z to the Ultima. But is it a high revving hero or an oil burning villain? Let's dive in. Welcome to Rocket's Drive Club, where we explore engines and cars that you love, hate, and love to hate. Debuting in 2000, the VQ35DE was Nissan's go-to 3.5 liter V6, making its way into models like the 350Z, Maxima, Ultima, Murano, and even the Pathfinder. With a bore and stroke of 95.5 millimeters by 81.4 millimeters, it was designed for a balance of power and efficiency. Shout out to everyone who suggested we tackle the VQ next. This one's for you. The VQ35DE is renowned for its versatility and performance. Depending on the model and year, it produces between 231 to 304 horsepower and 246 to 274 pound-feet of torque. Its lightweight aluminum construction and responsive nature have earned it a spot on the Ward's 10 best engines list multiple times. However, it's not without its flaws. Common issues include high oil consumption, timing chain tensioner wear, and ignition coil failures. Early models in particular are known for its excessive oil burning, which can lead to catalytic converter failure if not addressed promptly. Most owners are going to remove it anyway. <laughs> At Rocket Drive Club, we keep it real. While the VQ35 has its quirks, with proper maintenance and care, it can be a reliable and rewarding engine. In stock form, the VQ35DE offers respectable performance. With modifications like intake and exhaust upgrades, ECU tuning, and forced induction, enthusiasts have achieved significant power gains. However, it is crucial to address the engine's inherent weaknesses, such as upgrading the cooling system and reinforcing internal components to ensure reliability under increased stress. So does the VQ35DE earn a spot in the car spotting passport? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you've had experience with this engine, good or bad, let us know. What engine should we explore next? Your suggestions drive this club. If you're new here, we dive into engines and cars like this every week. For a deeper understanding, check out my guide, Learning About Cars for Beginners. Until next time, stay greasy, keep wrenching, and welcome to Rocket's Drive Club.